So for I, Tanya, did you make Margot audition? Uh, Margot did not audition. We, we, we had a long um, meeting where she talked a lot about her vision of the character and she talked about what it meant to her. Um, and, 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 and she actually joined me to produce. So it was one of those things where she came up pretty early and, and helped us kind of put the whole movie together and actually auditioned director, so it was the reverse. So there was a lot of questions and, and the fact that there's the cultural divide in some ways, and this is a very American story mm -hmm. and she grew up in Australia, but all that went away as soon as we sat down and she talked about her upbringing and she um, showed such true, uh, with authentic passion for the script and um, understood the character in a way that felt really in tune with what we were talking about. She did read against a lot of guys who uh, auditioned for the role of Galuli. And, um, and so it was great to see the chemistry. And I mean, again, with Sebastian and Margot were working together. We knew that that was great chemistry and that worked. How aware of this kind of big American story was she? She wasn't. She wasn't aware at all, which is interesting. Uh, she actually thought that this was all made up at first until she went online and she couldn't believe it. That she's like, wow, what an amazing imagination Stephen Rogers has. <laughs> and she realized it was real. Uh, but she was very young at the time. 94 is when a lot of this went down. Right. And she was, I think, three or four years old. So.